Hi there, my name is Bill Schwab, and I'd like to welcome you to the Northlight Photographic Workshops. As you can see, we got a little bit of snow last night, but no matter, just have to put on a little extra gear to get to the mailbox. And on that note, I got a message through email today that my palladium shipment is here. Now my plan today is to show you how to mix it up. It's not the kind of thing you get from Bostick and Sullivan all pre-mixed in its solution for you to use. I get in a plain powder and I mix it up myself. It's a little more economical this way and plain fun. Who doesn't like to mix things up in the dark room? Anyway, follow along the trail with me. Check the box. Look, they plowed the road. Good sign. Let's see what we got here. Haha, -ha, there it is. Good. So, we got the goods and it's time to go. Let's go, Kurt, lead the way. Okay, here we are. Back at the studio where it's nice and warm. We'll get this box opened and show you what's inside and how to mix it up. And there's the, uh, the wet plate trailer for another day, another warmer day. Well, now that I'm back inside the warmth, got all the snow knocked off me, I'll open up this package and see what we've got. Ah, me precious. This is the stuff. Palladium chloride, 99%. It's a valuable little bottle here. This stuff is now more expensive than gold. As of this taping, this is $65 a gram, and there's 25 grams in this bottle. Do the math. But still, it's a cost-effective way of making prints, and uh, when you compare it to inkjet prints, inkjet paper, um, inks, which are outrageously expensive, the printers, thousands of dollars, that kind of thing. So, you know, I mean, it's an expensive amount of uh, palladium here, um, but it's going to go a long, long way, as long as I don't spill it. Me precious. So, uh, now, if you're mixing up your palladium, you've got to have some salt, coarse, coarse, or it doesn't have to be coarse salt, but it's got to be kosher, non-iodized salt. You don't want any additives to your salt. Um, we're just going to use a small amount of that anyway. We'll need a small beaker to mix in, graduated cylinder. Um, I like to have a little hot plate uh, that I turn on with a beaker with a little bit of water that won't cover the bottle that I end up eventually mixing in. Um, well, let's see here. We need a scale. We've got a little scale here that will measure out grams. It's a very sensitive little guy. And a um, glass stirring rod is always good to have. And I like to have, because this stuff is so expensive, when I'm mixing it up, I like to be able to catch it on something that I can reclaim it from. So I like to have a piece of glass, a nice clean piece of glass that I weigh over. And I also like to have a nice clean straight edge razor blade. If you um, spill any on the glass, it's nice to have the razor blade to scrape it up with because it's such a fine powder. It's good to have a little kind of a, a measuring a spoon to dip out your, uh, your powders and things whenever you're mixing up chemistry. Good to also have some little squares of paper. Uh, I like to have these to put on top of the scale. I put a little fold in it just to have a little crease so that it ends up like a little funnel when I'm trying to pour it out. And this, I end up putting on top of the scale, tearing the scale so that it zeroes out, and then weighing my powders on top of that so that I can take that and put it into the um, beaker for mixing later on. And then all of this, I set the scale and the paper on top of my little piece of glass 
so that anything that might spill over the edge I can reclaim with the razor blade. And you're also going to need some distilled water. Definitely distilled water. Don't use tap water to do this. Palladium is very expensive. Your tap, various tap waters have different additives that can screw up your solution and uh, I don't advise that at all. Um, when we end up here, we're making 25 milliliters, um, uh, two and a half grams of palladium chloride. So you can do the math on that and that's an expensive little bottle we're going to have here at the end and you don't want to mess it up by using impure water. So let's get down to it. Safety glasses and gloves always. So to start mixing this up, first we need the formula. And what we're going to be doing here, I've been talking about two and a half grams of uh, palladium chloride all along, but what we're going to actually use is 2.3 grams. Tiny amount, but when you're playing with expensive stuff like this, it, it does matter. Um, and we're going to need uh, two grams of um, uh, kosher salt also in, uh, this is all to make 25 milliliters as a final. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure out the um, water first and I'm going to measure out the salt um, and get that going. Um, now what you'd like to do is dissolve the salt first. Uh, it helps in several ways. It's, it's, it goes into solution very easily and it also helps soften the water and it helps with the um, dissolving of the palladium chloride in the water as well. Um, you get a little bit quicker um, solution that way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by pouring a little bit of the salt into a small film container because I'm just using two grams and it's easier to pour that out of a smaller container than it is out of this big container here. And so we'll turn on our scale and we'll get it zeroed out. And In the meantime, I'm preparing this little piece of paper that I'm going to weigh onto by folding a little crease in the corner so that it's easier to pour it into my beaker here. So I've got it set at zero. I put the paper on there. The paper actually weighs, weighs pour, 0.4 grams. I'm going to tear it out. Now I'm at zero. So now what I'm doing is weighing out two grams of salt. Now this is coarse salt. Like I said before, it doesn't have to be coarse, but it does have to be non-iodized. So we're a little over a gram now, 1.7, 1.8. and two grams. Now what I'm going to do with this is take it and pour it into my beaker and then I'm going to put the uh, salt aside here and I'm going to take and measure out 20 liters, 20 milliliters, I'm sorry, 20 milliliters of distilled water into my graduated cylinder. And I'll show you a reason I'm not measuring out um, 25 right away. So there we are, 20 milliliters. Recap so we don't have any spills. Make sure that yes, in fact, I'm at 20 and I am. So I'm going to take that 20 milliliters of distilled water and I'm going to pour it into my beaker with the salt. Make sure I get it all in there. Now you'll notice that the salt starts to dissolve very quickly. What I'm going to do is help it along with my uh, glass steering rod here. And you want to get this perfectly dissolved. You don't want any crystals left in there. To me, it looks like we are just about there. Still a little bit, a little bit to go. There we go. Nice clear solution. And I'm going to set my salt solution off to the side right now. Now we move on to the next step, which is the most important step of measuring out 2.3 grams of the palladium chloride. Set my scale. I'm going to get a piece of paper ready, a different piece of paper I'll use. Once again, I'll crease it, get it ready to rock. I'm at zero here. 
I'll tear out the scale, so now I'm back to zero. Now what I'm going to do is make the very crucial measurement of 2.5 grams of our very expensive palladium chloride. So I'm uncapping the palladium chloride and I'm going to set it over here on the glass. And there's an extra special little cover inside of here. Now you can see the coloring here, right? You can see the color is kind of an orangish brown. That's the very fine palladium chloride powder. So what I'm going to do is reach in here with just the handle and I'm going to pull out just a little bit to begin with. And I'm going to bring it over here onto my scale. See how fast that goes and how it jumps and uh, if I spill any over on the edge, I'd like to be able to reclaim it. So I'm there, I'm already at 1.3 grams and what I'm measuring for is 2.3 grams. And there I'm at 2.6 already, so I'm a little over. You can tell it's heavy stuff. Putting a little bit back inside of there. There I am, 2.3 grams. And I am going to very carefully recap the palladium before I do anything else. And I'll put that safely aside. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our beaker and bring it over here on the glass. And we're going to very carefully pick up the palladium chloride we've measured out and we are going to bring it over into the beaker and tap it out, tap it out. A little bit of powder, residual powder was going to stay on the, uh, the paper. I take that apart away and I close it up, throw it away. Now, I've got my beaker here set. I'll once again get my stirring rod now what I like to do is just kind of like slosh it around a little bit carefully at first. Start bringing it into solution. And then I start to do my stirring. And as you can see, it's kind of turning into a rusty colored mud. And that's not the way you're going to want it when it's fully dissolved. When it's fully dissolved, it'll be just a nice, clear, non-muddy looking solution. We're getting there now. Now, even though you're stirring a lot, you're going to notice that there's a little bit of sediment in the bottom and you try to get as much of that as possible before removing the solution from the beaker. You can see it's still kind of a rusty, muddy color, but I've pretty much got all the powder suspended in the solution now. So when you do get it to that point, what I like to do is put it into one of these little 30 milliliter. I'll set that down there carefully. I want to make sure it's not going to spill over. What I like to use is one of these nice little brown 30 milliliter bottles. Now this is the same kind of stuff that when you order from Bostic and Sullivan, it comes in this. And this is a bottle that I've used from Bostic and Sullivan in the past, so you can see the labeling that's on it. Um, and what I like to do now is I like to uncap that and set it down very carefully. Make sure that I've got my solution suspended in here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour this very carefully into my bottle. Very carefully. As you can see now, there's going to be a little bit of sediment left in the beaker when I put it down. And this is where the five milliliters comes in. 
So what I do now is I measure out another five milliliters of distilled water. And then I put that back inside of the beaker to slosh it around a bit more. Then I once again open up the bottle and I pour the remaining solution into the bottle in which I now have a total volume of 25 milliliters of palladium chloride for printing. So now that everything is mixed down and we've poured from our beaker into our uh, 25 milliliter bottle, uh, our solution is shaken and is ready to go. Um, I like to leave this for a day before I end up printing with it just to make sure that all of the palladium chloride has gone into solution. But by this time we should be free and clear and ready to print. 25 milliliters of palladium chloride, which should be good for a lot of prints. Um, we just use these drops at a time. Um, you'll see that in a later video when we print with this stuff, but here's our more expensive than gold solution and we're ready to go. Once again, this is Bill Schwab coming to you from Northlight Photographic Workshops in the Photostock studio here in beautiful northern Michigan and I thank you very much for coming along and uh, watching this video and I hope that you'll stick around and watch more. Uh, I'll leave some links below for you to find palladium chloride and that kind of thing. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, please press the subscribe button. You'll be alerted when new things come up. So again, thank you very much and take care. Till next time.